What's up everyone, my name is Nairo and welcome back to some more Mami no Kita Kita Sanctuary. On the last episode, we managed to find where the Arthurian altar is along with a shot, but at the end we got ambushed by the prophets. Yeah, prophets. And they managed to get away with the shot, I think. Also, there were two giant monsters and I killed them easily. So whatever. So, let's continue with the story. If I remember correctly, I'm supposed to talk to Pin. I searched all, all around the altar, but I couldn't find the Arthurian shard anywhere. My guess is the prophets have it. I'm still so confused. How did the prophet find out the uh, Arthurian altar? How did they get here before we did? Only the Albar Knights uh, know about it. We're all thinking the same thing, Adlam. Where did we go wrong? Maybe they got their hands on the on our plan somehow. Come on. We aren't the we aren't that careless. We will never leave sensitive information just lying around for the enemy to see. That's right. Yep. I, I see. The prophets have, have made it clear that and that way. Won't they won't rest until they breach the Avalon Gate. We can't let that happen. But what could they possibly be hoping to accomplish? It's not like it's not like they're beyond <laughs> It's not like there is anything but John Avalon Gate except the Elder's body. Wait, you don't think they're going at are they going after the Elder's body? The Elder's body? That's insane. If you think about it, it makes it, it makes perfect sense. We know that the prophets are able to revive the control and control the dead. We also know that the elder bodies rest beyond Avalon Gate. If the prophets knows about Avalon Gate and are trying to pass through it, it only, make, it only makes sense that they're going after the Elder's body. Why the Elder? Why not just revive a bunch of really strong monsters like elves, giants, and control them? Y yeah. But what are you and what you're saying does make a lot of sense, uh, Caswin. But like Pin said, why the Elder? Why are the prophets going through all this trouble just to revive him? Well, the Elder received a div his divine light directly from the. Uh, from Aaron Simeni himself. That must be very valuable to the prophet somehow. Could, could that be? Could they be trying to turn the elder into some kind of weapon? It seems we're all on the same page. We must ex and we examine our plans of attack. <coughs> Who am I supposed to talk to now? Talk to Talvish at Luna Belly. There are two things we need to do. First, we must find the prophets and reclaim the Arthurian shard. Second, we must find the remaining three shards. However, Avalyn and Nairo have used up quite a bit of energy. Hmm, alright. Change of plan. Evelyn, you and Nairo rest up while we continue hunting for, for the prophets. I'd, all, I'd all also like to rest. What do you need to rest for? It's a secret. I'm kidding, I'm just exhausted. <laughs> I, I consume a lot of divine light during the fight. Did you just try to crack a joke? That was terrible. It's fine. Cast when you can rest, and Pan, Adlam, and I will go. We should try relaxing in the hot spring. If you take the Manhattan, we'll be there in no time. Please take care of each other. Don't worry about me. And <laughs> you just keep an eye on Adlam. <laughs> we'll do our best. All right, time to move out. Try not to uh, miss me too much, guys. Not gonna happen. So... Talk to Evelyn. Should we get going? And they went. Now, let's see... Do we really have to go to the hot spring? Talk to Caswell and blah blah blah, okay. Now that I think about it... Will Avalyn be wearing her armor in the hot spring, or will she be wearing, she, or will she be wearing a swimsuit? Who knows? Even though the whole swimsuit thing and looks unlikable, I mean, not probable. Whatever. I don't know what I'm saying no more. Uh, come on. Hot spring, hot spring, no, no, 
There we go, hot spring. Oh, I just remembered the, the word I was looking for. It was unlikely. And I said unlikable, which is the wrong word. Is that a monkey? That is. Yeah, that is a monkey. Uh, blood monkey. Now, where is Caswin? Oh, I'm, I'm leaving the freaking hot spring. Is it this way? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna skip. Okay, we found them and I was right, she's not doing anything, she's just standing there, but whatever. We should prepare camp. How, how irritating and how irritating. Uh, what? Is there anything else to this? Whatever. Set up camp. You help Caswin set up camp. Okay, Caswin has something to say. You two set and uh, step away from the camp to talk. Night row. What do you make of uh, recent events? The prophets invaded Avalonga not too long ago. Then we faced them at the Arthuan uh, at the Arthuan altar. How is this happening? How are we supposed to find the prophets if it's always like this? They're always one step ahead of us. It just doesn't make any sense unless there's a traitor among us. I don't wish to dis discuss this with uh, anyone else but you for now. If we start m in mistrusting each other, then we're doing exactly what the prophet wants. I don't want to believe there is a traitor among us, but it will be foolish to rule out the possibility. Nairo. What do you think about Talvish? Uh... My opinion is untrustworthy. You see that Talvish is untrustworthy. You're not saying that because what I say before, are you? I hope my opinion have not influenced your judgment. I'm sure you have your own <laughs> your own reasons to uh, for thinking this way. As for me, I just don't know. I don't know what Talvish is truly like. He's an exemplary knight. He's a highly respected, but I don't. I just don't know. Some of his decisions simply don't make sense. Sometimes I investigate his his dubious decision, but they all mysterious solve and <laughs> solve themselves as if someone were covering them up. If one were to assume that Talish was a traitor, then his action will make more sense. Nightrope. I do not trust Talish. I don't want to believe that he's a traitor. And I have no desire to bring down a person whom everyone respects. That's all I have to say. Enemies have appeared, a uh, fight is unavoidable. I don't let, uh, don't let the enemy reach the camp. Why? Oh shit. Nope. 
They're not gonna freaking pass me. Oh man, I hate this bullshit. Oh wow, that one dropped a lot of gold. If only there was like a, a, a automatic decal, like a gold thing. But no. Never knew when you might need more gold. Okay, so far so good. I mean, I haven't gone into any trouble yet. Still got thunder. Let me use windmill. Wait, what? Wait, how is that possible? They're, all of the enemies were there. What happened? Wait, were there other enemies on the other side? Oh, uh, this is bullshit. This is gonna be a bullshit. took me a long time. Why there had to be 100 enemies for God's sake? That was like the most annoying thing ever. Okay, let's see here. Talk to Adlon. No. There we go. And hey everyone, we're back. Any, any luck finding the prophets? We searched a few places, but we couldn't find anything. It was so exhausting. Why does that area have had to be so huge? There aren't any near villages that will be to be too easy. It appears we have no choice but to have night roll use the necklace again. Have you got any enough rest? A little more rest couldn't hurt. Catherine and Nairo managed to handle the mess outside without without me. I just wish I w uh, wasn't so useless right now. Don't be hard on yourself, Adlin. You can't do much without your divine light. Thanks, Talvish. Yeah, shut up, Adlin. That's really grown up, uh, grown up way to act, uh, um, Adlin. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Let's give Nitro some more time to recover before using the necklace again. And that's the end of this quest. Now I have no clue how long this took by cutting out the whole other stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna stop the video right here because I have to check like how many videos I've recorded so far. So yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.